In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a nice donut chart where we have these icons with an image and a circular shape at the back as our corner guidance. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to do this. The first thing that we need to do here is make sure you have the boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started, this specific link here. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, join the Discord channel. So to do this, I will have a basic image, which I get from chartjs.org, or if I refresh this, this is the official image link. So I will use that image as my sample. To do this, first thing what I want to do here, I want to say this is a donut chart. Refresh. And then what I will do is I remove the scale because we don't have a scale in a donut chart. Save that. Refresh. There we are. What I would like to do here is do a uh, reduce the thickness of this donut. So our donut slice. So we're going to say here, cut out. And we can say here this will be 95% or something like that. And then we just make it like that. It's a string value, save, refresh. All right, that looks quite nice. What I would like to do then, every corner should have a value or an icon. In this case, I will just use our image and I'll put it first. I want to put a nice circle around that. To do this, let's say here, plugins, and then this is an array. So we need to say here, let's say icons. Copy this, icons, then we say here, constant icons equals ID of uh, icons. And then we say here, um, when would we like to do it? We can do it before or after the data set draw, doesn't really matter. In this case, because we will be not underneath here, we'll be just on the white space area anyway. So we're gonna say chart, arcs, and plugin options. Object destruction we'll do here. And then say here, chart. And then I'm going to say here, CTX. And then from CTX, we could say here, what would I like here is the chart area. And more specifically, the top, bottom, left, and right position. So once I have this, I can start to draw my shapes. So what I'm going to say here, CTX.save, to save all variables above. And then what I want to do now is start to put in circles around here. And I will just give them a standard black color. It will be a circular shape. So to do this, ctx.begin path to say we're going to create a shape that's independent of anything else. And then we're going to say here ctx.arc. The arc here will be drawing and let's make this first. Let's give it a color first. So ctx.fill style and let's say this will be dark gray, British gray in this case. And then we're going to say here the arc. The arc allows us to draw circles, angles, or anything of curved lines or shapes. In this case, I just want a full circle. So what I'm going to do here, we have the X, the Y, and then we have here the radius. And then we have here angle start and angle end. And finally, counterclockwise, yes or no. In this case, we want a full circle. It doesn't matter if it's counterclockwise or not, but I'll just say false for this one. So we just have here a standard structure of clockwise shape. So what I want to do here is, well, we need a few things. Let's start with the angle. That's the easiest one. That's zero as a starting point. And then we want to have a 360 shape. Well, because it's a circle. So what we know is that one pi is a half circle and two pi is a full circle. So in this case, I'll just say here math dot pi times two. And then we have here zero, so it knows it starts at zero and then makes a full circle based on this, connecting back to this here. So then we have here the radius that will define the size of the shape. So in this case, I'll just say constant radius. And this, I'll just make this right now 20 pixels. I'm going to grab this and later on we will change this here to make it related to our shape here if you want to or you could do anything basic it doesn't really matter i think it's not even necessary but let's leave it as it is so we have this radius here so what i want to do next then is now start to draw this shape i say ctx dot and then we say here fill to draw the shape but 
we need the x and y coordinates. So what I know is we have here, if I want to do it the very top left corner here, but I want to make sure we're not touching the legend. So we're going to be here in this corner. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say here, top for the y, because it's a vertical uh, scale basically. And we have the left for the horizontal scale. If I do this, you will see that the radius here comes in conflict with our shape. Our shape is being clipped off 50%. This is because our positioning needs to be based on whatever the radius is divided by two. So what I'm going to say here, constant, half radius and this will be radius divide by 2 and then after we need to reposition it whatever that half is so let's look at that all right now we have this here we can just say here because i want to go more to the right to be exact i need to go probably if the radius is 20 here we need to have 20 pixels to the right because the radius is only a half size. So this to this is 20, but from top to bottom here, the full shape is 40 pixels. Remember that. So I'm going to say here plus half radius. Uh, oh, as you can see here, I'm just making my own mistake here. While I'm explaining it correctly, I am just making a mistake here. Let's leave that one for now. There we are. Then what I need to do is I need to go down as well. And I think for down, we can probably say here, the radius as well. So we say your top plus radius pushing it half down. There we are. What I want to do next is on the right side the same thing. But of course I don't want to copy paste this. So what I'm going to do here is the following. I'll make this a function. Say so here draw circle. And then in here I'm going to cut this shape or cut the code, paste that in there so it will be nested in there. And then we can really consider what we need we probably need an x and a y do we need a color maybe it's up to you let's keep it like that for now and then i guess we can do here the radius we can just say here will be the radius well well, we'll leave it for as it is i think that's fine we'll see later on so then what i want to do here i want to draw get this command get the x and y and basically here the x will be this the y coordinates will be here the color would be maybe dark gray there we are and now we can keep the color like that and then we can just copy this just put that all in here save that refresh all right interesting it doesn't work and we have to see here x y hold on let me jam it. double check all right i saw the mistake very very uh small one and i realized you can see here we're missing a value and specifically the radius my bad sorry about that so if i save that refresh there we are that works again now we're back in business let's move this save item above there we are and now what we can do is we can just start to position each four of these how do we do that just copy this there we are all right now what we have to do here is to put this to the right side however if you're right you do a plus it will go further to the right and i don't want that so i need to say here a negative if i save that refresh you can see here this one is here let's do the next one here now you can give this green so you will have a visual uh, we don't have it yet so what i'm going to say here um left plus i guess what we can say here this will be left all right we can leave it left but this one will be at the bottom but the bottom if you go more down you add more values more pixels it will go further down so i need to go up if i save that refresh there you are that's the green one the red one right now is just sticks on top of this one as you can see i need to move it here so what i'm going to say here this will be right minus radius and then we say bottom minus the radius as well there we are so we have all of these colors here now let's put in our image or an icon if you want to put an icon in this case my image will be this basic logo here but you can get any image you want so what i'm going to do here for this image is i'll just put it in here as well i'll just leave it but you could do here or we could do it here here would be the url 
If you put in the URL like this, we make sure that this is a string value. There we are. Then we can just trigger that. So let me just show you how will we do this. So once we fill up the arc shape, we want to put the icon or the logo on top of it. So how do we do this? We're going to say here, um, constant. And we can just say here, logo or icon. And we're going to say here, this will be a new image object. So basically it's a JavaScript object on the sense it's an image. So then we're going to say here the logo.source will be equal to what exactly? We have here this, we can put it like that, but I want to say this will be just the URL. Copy that, put it in here. Then what I want to do here is start to draw the item. So what I'm going to do here, ctx.draw image and start to put in the URL or uh, yeah that's the URL or the icon sorry logo that's this one then we have here the X and the Y coordinates and then we can even indicate the width and the height of the image if you don't want the standard image height and size so if this is the size I think it's 50 pixels or 100 pixels by 100 or anything I guess this is maybe 150 I think so if you don't want this size you can readjust it in here by saying what you want. And I will show you later on how we're going to apply that. So what I'm going to do here, this here, is basically the coordinates of the X and Y that we already have here. For this, I'll just say here, um, and the height will be 25 pixels for now and 25. Or even if the radius is... 20, we can do 20 times 2, that is 40, so let's say this will be 40 by 40. Later on we'll play around with that. Save that, refresh, oh, refresh here. And alright, as you can see here, it loads this, that works, but we're mispositioned. And the reason why we are not in the right position is because of the radius that we need to recalculate. I need to say here, the radius would eventually be minus the radius. And for this, will be also my, um, sorry, not minus, I need to do plus. So it will go down and more to the, um, am I correct, more down? No, it needs to go up, my bad. So I need to say negative and negative here as well. Let's save that and see if this is correct. There we are. Now we are in the center here. This is a tricky one. Let's put this in every single one of those. So what I'm going to do here, I'll just say here. Copy this, paste, 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 save, refresh. There you are, they are automatically in the position. But what I would like to do instead of this calculating here, what we could do is um, calculate the width of that image. So what I can say here, the image width needs to be set as well, maybe radius times two. I think that will be the most logical. So whatever the radius is, that will be the size of the image. If I do it like that, let's save that, refresh, there we are. If my radius is 50, there we are. Everything will nicely expand and nothing will be clipped out of it because the position will recalculate itself. And that's it.